There we go. I'm recording. So I'm in Ableton Live. And actually, I so that I didn't have to. If you have a copy of Ableton Live open and you want to start um, creating, uh, composing a one-bar loop, <laughs> feel free to do that. I, uh, to save time, went ahead and created my own one-bar loop here, which sounds awesome. Yeah, OK. But uh, that's my one-bar loop. And right up here in the corner, OK. Uh, inconspicuously next to the 93 which is my tempo the tap which allows me to tap the tempo is a link uh, button if I go ahead and turn that on ooh, look at that see that number go up four links okay five links so every time somebody turns on link on their computer and they're on the same network it should that counter should go up okay it doesn't tell you who they are it just tells you that there's seven computers out there running Ableton live talking to one another okay uh, and if I uh, do the same thing here, let me see, can I go back to QuickTime and can I do a new movie recording? Okay. So I've got my iPad here and I downloaded this EG drum machine thing here, okay, which should look familiar, yes. Anybody know what this is emulating? The color scheme should be a dead giveaway. Come on. What are we emu what or what device are we emulating here? Nobody, nobody recognizes this. I'm sure the only thing that's coming into my head is like when you're a kid and you have one of those little colored Lorenzo things. No, nope. that's, what, that's what's in my head right now. Three so numbers, it. famous drum machine. 808. It's the 808. Yes. Okay. So it's a software emulation of the 808. And let's see. By default, it looks like this, and there's a little. Um, gear in the upper corner. I'm trying to not drop my iPad while I do this, okay? If I press that gear, I get a little button down at the bottom that says link, okay? And I can turn on link, and hopefully the number went up. Oh, look at that. I'm actually connected to seven apps. So this is so this app is now running on my iPad connected to our link network that we've set up, okay? Which is amazing to me, okay? Um, so if I go back here and I hit play now, if I hit play now, there it goes. Okay, so it's playing my one bar loop. If I hit start here, I didn't have to do anything. I just had to get them, make sure they're all on the same network, make sure they're talking to one another, and these are now in time with each other, which is pretty remarkable. Yes? All right. Uh, and you guys should be in time now, too, if you wanted to start actually producing things. Uh, the new kind of, I guess, workflow for people that collaborate is that you could sit on your two machines and one person could be working on keys over here, one person could be working on drums over here. Yeah. So. Let me see here. That's really the end of my demo. I mean, somebody else is already synchronized, so. You could feel free to jump in the jam here and add some musical layer to try it out, to convince yourself that your computer is locked to this network. I'll leave it running. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my...